Hello guys, and we are here with a, another video, and so today, um, I will be showcasing a, uh, creation that I made in Roblox that I remade in Scrap Mechanics. So first, I must show the, uh, the thing I made in Roblox just to, uh, get the, uh, the baseline down, and, uh, I'm recording at, a lower FPS than usual, just so that it doesn't lag, because the, the, uh, already seeing a little bit here, and the, uh, the other creation definitely does lag. So, um, it's, uh, this one, and I refer to it simply as the, uh, the metal worm, because I don't have any better terms for it. So basically, coming in over here, um, if I press 1, brings that door out, and then I press 2, to uh, completely close it, and uh, it's just a, uh, it's also amphibious, but um, yeah, it, it most certainly functions, so, uh, ooh, lag spike there, um, it has tank steering, but that's kind of irrelevant because of how long it is, it just doesn't turn all that well. Um, 24 wheels, and, uh, 28 things of suspension, and it, as you can see, it just smoothly rolls over the terrain. That's why this type of vehicle is what I call a crawler. Just crawls over the terrain nice and smoothly. And I'm going over here because there's a, uh, a ramp that's uh, fairly challenging. Uh, what's that? I might be able to challenge myself and get up that, but uh, if I... You know, I, I think I'm going to challenge myself and go for that first. Man, I wish the pausing worked on OBS right now. Oh. Um, I don't think I can get up that. I thought I could, but, uh, that's, uh, that's a bit more intimidating than I thought. The, uh, the, the terrain had it properly loaded in before I got here. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go for this ramp. It's, uh, fairly tall. Probably 30 degrees. Uh, it gets higher, though, probably up to, uh, 45, maybe 50. But, uh, yeah, this thing just hugs the ground. It doesn't really like falling over. As you can see, it's been leaning a lot. This thing was originally painted gold because I wanted it to have a steampunk feel, but, uh, brass does not equal steampunk. So, yep, there it goes. Nice and simple. All right, now over to the, uh, the scrap mechanic version. All right, so we are now here in scrap mechanic. Um, we will be going into uh, this world. This is my, as you can see, it's my first world, and uh, it doesn't have any mods on it, but it could have twelve. I saw that that game tip recently, uh, was watching some, uh, Scrap Man, and, uh, they brought up that tip. It's funny. Um, where is it? Probably a bit lower here. Oh, crap, where is it? I know for a fact that I saved it. Oh, I found it. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, starting to uh, lag out the game a bit. Once it settles down, though, the lag disappears. So uh, for here, I have the uh, the sport suspension rather than the off-road suspension, which is slightly weaker. Uh, I did this just so that it um it wasn't as tall. This way, it's just slightly shorter. 
And I had to build it this way because I couldn't weld it on the other way, and I was starting from the wheels and working my way up, so that way I can just copy and paste the wheels. Because, um... Well, uh, another thing to note is that there is uh, 56 bearings on this. So uh, that that's mostly the reason why it lags. I don't quite understand how Scrap Mechanic induces lag right now, but I'm pretty sure it's by how many separate creations, quote-unquote, there are inside of your vehicle. So for each bearing, there is a separate creation. So there's at least 55 separate creations on this one. But uh, if we go here, same functionality, it's just that the wheels are spaced differently and it doesn't have a tube around it. It's also not as long. And it's wider. Um, three for a left turn, four for a right turn, one obviously to go forward, two for reverse. Now the, uh, the wheel bases are on free bearings. So, the pressure of the suspension just kind of levels them out automatically, so uh, I don't have to worry about much. Now, this one isn't amphibious. Well, obviously, I mean, it's made entirely out of Tier 1 metal. Um, but it does... that's not the right thing. It does function better, or it doesn't lag as much, on um, simple 8 physics. But as you can see, it... Uh, it's uh, wheel bases get a little out of whack there. But I mean, it does function, or it does lag the game a whole lot less to have it like this. This one's also pretty speedy compared to the other version, for uh, being somewhat to scale. I mean, it's like twice as tall and the wheels feel smaller. But I mean, in terms of block to block, this is fairly, I say fairly, with a grain of salt, but, yeah. Who would have guessed it looks so smooth driving whenever it's driving on the, uh, on the smooth terrain? But yeah, look at that, just curves over the terrain. Wheels always in contact. Now, I originally didn't think I would need this many engines, but just because there's so many wheels, I needed this many engines. Not, not my proudest moment here, but uh, I've set up more complicated logic. I mean, you could basically see it whenever I spawned in. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your days. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.